Hey, we're getting new details into the death of an Overland Park police officer. The Johnson County District Attorney announcing today that Officer Mike Mosher was justified in using deadly force. This incident happened in May as Mosher was headed to work. He confronted a hit and run driver, which led to a shootout where both Mosher and the suspect were killed. Today, the county DA showed a video that shined light on exactly what happened in the moments before the shooting. Reporter Nick Starling joins us live with more on that. Nick. Well, guys, this video is key because it lines up with witness statements about what all happened on May 3rd. Now, the Overland Park Police Department will release this video as part of its internal investigation. Now, the DA says because of this video, Officer Mike Mosier was justified in his use of deadly force. Now, this video is actually filmed on Officer Mike Mosier's cell phone as he's heading into work. And in this video, you can see Officer Mosier and the suspect Carney have about a two minute conversation before things Things got out of hand. Take a look. Uh -huh. I know how you guys operate. I don't trust you. Okay, well, like, like I said, I, I don't know why you stopped and got out of your car and came back to me. In the video, Mosier continues to ask Carney to go back in his car and wait for officers to arrive, but Carney refuses. Carney says he knows how the police department operates. Mosier calls for backup. Then things escalate quickly, and at some point, Carney goes for his back pocket, pulls out a gun, and points it at Officer Mosier. And then that's when things took a turn, and I have to warn you, what you're about to see is disturbing. I know how the process works. Yeah, but uh, I need units here, please. You know, it's difficult for us as police officers uh, to watch this. I mean, Mike was doing everything right, everything by the book. I mean, you, you heard it. I mean, he was professional, he was courteous, he was calm. I think it's also a good example of how in a blink of an eye, um, something that looks like a normal situation can turn to a life and death situation. Chief Don Chess says the first time he saw that video was last week and as actually Moser's wife is the first person actually saw that video after that shooting. Back out here live at 123rd in Antioch, there's a little bit of a memorial still out here. It's been out here for about three months since that shooting happened. Reporting live in Overland Park, Nick Starling, 41 Action News.